Hi, kids. Today, we will learn more on physical and chemical changes. So let's get started. Let's first learn about chemical changes. It leads to the formation of new types of matter that may look totally different from the original matter. Example, ash and smoke are produced when wood is burnt and they look totally different from wood. Chemical changes result in the formation of a new chemical substance or substances. Example, ash is chemically different from wood and is produced in the process of burning wood. Chemical change leads to making or breaking of bonds between atoms of the matter at the molecular level because of which new chemical substances are formed. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. A chemical change cannot be reversed. Example, you cannot turn ash back to wood. Another example, you cannot convert a rotten egg or any fruit back to its fresh state. Baked biscuits cannot be converted back to dough. Rusted iron cannot be converted back to original iron. Cooked eggs cannot be converted back to raw eggs. Now let's learn about some signs of chemical changes. Color change. If there is change in the color of the object, it suggests a chemical change. Example, sun tanning makes the color of skin darker as melanin is produced, so it's a chemical change. Baking of cookies changes the color of cookie to darker brown color, so it's a chemical change. Rusting of iron changes the color of iron to brown or red, so it's a chemical change. Smell chemical changes may give off some smell. Example, when garbage rots, it gives off a bad smell. A new physical property is produced after a chemical change. Example, when an apple rots, it becomes softer. When piece of wood is burnt, its residue is softer and brittle and also reduces in size. Some gas is produced. When you burn something, smoke is produced. So signs of chemical changes are change in the color of substance, release some smell, a new physical property is produced, and some gas is released. Now let's see some chemical changes. Rusting of iron, where iron oxide is formed. Burning of gasoline, where water vapors and carbon dioxide are formed. Cooking eggs. Bread rising. Milk souring. Sun tanning. All these are examples of chemical changes. Now let's learn more about physical changes. Changes that just change the form 
or physical appearance of matter, like change in the shape, size, or form, and it does not change the amount of matter in an object, and no new substance is produced, such changes are called physical changes. And most of the physical changes are reversible, but not all. During a physical change, molecules are rearranged, but their internal structure is not affected. Now let's see some examples of physical changes. Whipping egg whites is a physical change as just air is forced into the fluid, but no new substance is produced. Magnetizing a compass needle is a physical change, as no new substance is produced. There is just a realignment of iron atoms. Boiling of water is a physical change, as there is no change in the molecules of water. They are still water. The molecules just move faster when the water boils, but there is no actual change, so it's a physical change. Dissolving sugar in water is a physical change, as sugar molecules remain the same but they are just dispersed within the water. Dicing potatoes is a physical change, as no new substance is formed while cutting potatoes. Folding of paper is a physical change. Only the shape of paper is changed. Crushing of paper is a physical change. Cutting of an apple, it is also a physical change, as only the shape and size of the apple is changed, but there is no chemical change in the apple. So kids, today we learned more about physical changes and chemical changes. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!